So Emily, how are you doing today? Great. I'm very happy to be in London for the first time and yeah, Destination Star Trek for the first time. It's been amazing. London's a fantastic city, so we're excited to have you here as well and catch up. It seems like for ages since we've uh, been at a Star Trek event, so due to the pandemic, it's been mental. I know, it's really wild to be back. I did my first one back in Germany, and it was just so exciting to be around people again. And there's like a little anxiety, you know, how do we do this? How do we make this feel safe? But it feels like everyone is just, um, you know, being respectful, wearing masks, and trying, trying the best they can. So, if it's fine with yourself, we have a couple of questions for yourself about your character, Star Trek Discovery, and uh, we can go from there. So, when you're ready? Awesome. So, um, how much of yourself did you put into the character of Detmer? Um, well, when we first started, I feel like the writers were watching my performance and sort of writing as we went and developing her as we went. And um, she became sort of clearer to me as season one went on that she, you know, she has a lot of perfectionist qualities. She's very driven. She's very serious about what she does. And through reading her, I actually realized, wow, there is a lot of me in here, and that's what the writers are seeing, and that's why they're writing for Detmer. And I kind of had to come to terms with that, and really, as she's been dealing with it, uh, letting go of these expectations, letting go of the past, and letting herself be enough, that's been huge for me because I'm also going through that. So I find a lot of myself in her, but she also teaches me a lot. I feel like she's a lot braver than me. I'm often a scaredy cat when it comes to big decisions. And she's like, yeah, let's go to the future. Let's see what that's all about. So I, I think she's a, um, you know, a real admirable character in that way. And I learn a lot from her. Fantastic. Thank you. So uh, a lot of fans really love your character's relationship with Osekwa and Lieutenant Alexson. So how would you describe a relationship? Is it something you're proud of? You know, any words? Yeah, I get this question a lot. I think that because we're on the front of the bridge, we, you know, in season one, we didn't have a ton of material that to flesh out that relationship. So we decided to um, flesh it out for ourselves so that we understood who these people were, not just on the bridge when they're at work, but who are they in the mess hall? Who are they in their quarters? And what do they mean to each other? Um, and so we worked a lot on that friendship, on that relationship. And we thought, you know, however the people perceive it, whether it's a romantic relationship or a friendship is okay. And let's see where the writers take it. And now I feel like it's, it's especially in the future, it's we're each other's rocks and we're each other's family now because we've had to let go of everybody. So I think now more than ever, um, I look to her as a best friend and as a sister. So during season three, Kayla went through a journey for, due to her injuries. Um, what did you, what did it mean to you get to show this experience on screen? I think this was a really, um, I, I was so happy that the writers gave me this challenge for season three and going through the PTSD of leaving everyone behind and really really asking myself what that would cost her. And um, I l had a friend who was going through a PTSD leave. He was a paramedic. And uh, I luckily got to sit down with him at the top of the season and, and talk to him a little bit about his experience and uh, how PTSD can manifest. And it's, uh, there's a variety of ways. Um, so it was a good challenge as an actor to really dig into how Detmer's um, emotional life bubbles up for the first time, uh, which was interesting. And I think it's through our vulnerability that these characters really become three-dimensional. So I was excited to get the challenge. So finally, our final question for the day, not to keep you for too long. If someone was to write a book about Detmer, what would be the highlights of that book? It is, yeah. I feel like it's a lot about discipline. It's a lot about dedication for the first half. And then there's this injury where her physical appearance has to change. And I think that... I feel like it would be a self-help book about how to really embrace yourself as you start to change, as you make these big decisions in life. When, when we all leapt to the future, I was making decisions in my personal life that were, you know what, it's the moment right now that I have to let go. I have to jump off the bridge and the net will appear. And I think that that is what makes that episode at the end of season two so powerful and what makes the fall in season three so big for her it you know it cost her a lot so I think the book would be all about you know accepting life as it comes at you well Emily thank you very much for taking the time to talk to us today we're all looking forward to discovery season four and cannot wait to see you back on screen soon Sweet.